Hi, I'm Kristen Amdahl and welcome back to my studio. Today, we're going to make something. Join me for the next tutorial starting right now. This is an extremely easy top-down increasing shawl that only uses single crochet and chain. We're going to begin row one with chain 26. and then single crochet in the second chain from your hook. The loop on the hook is our working loop, so we'll count back one and two. Single crochets, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Chain seven. Then skip the next seven chains, and single crochet in the next chain. You want to repeat chain seven, skip seven chains, and single crochet in the next chain all the way across. This is what your work should look like at the end of row one. Row two begins with chain one and turn your work. And we're going to work single crochet, chain two, single crochet, all in that first single crochet. Then chain seven. Skip the next seven chains, and in the next single crochet, work single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Chain seven. Skip the next seven chains. In the next single crochet, work single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Chain seven. Skip the next seven chains and in the last single crochet, work single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And this is what your work should look like at the end of row two. Row three begins with chain one, turn your work, single crochet in the first single crochet, chain three, skip the chain two, single crochet in the next single crochet, chain seven, skip the next chain seven in the next single crochet, work single crochet, chain three, skip the chain two in the next single crochet, work a single crochet. Our repeat for this row is chain seven, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. You want to repeat that all the way across. And this is what your work should look like at the end of row three. Row four begins with chain one, turn your work, one single crochet in the first single crochet, chain four, skip the chain three, single crochet in the next single crochet, Chain seven, skip the chain seven, single crochet in the next single crochet, chain four, skip the chain three and single crochet in the next single crochet. Our repeat for this row is chain seven, single crochet, chain four, single crochet. You want to repeat that all the way across. 
And this is what your work should look like at the end of row four. Row five begins with chain one and turn our work. Single crochet in the first single crochet, chain five. Skip the chain four, single crochet in the next single crochet, chain seven. Skip the chain seven, single crochet in the next single crochet, chain five. Skip the chain four and single crochet in the next single crochet. You want to repeat chain seven, single crochet, chain five, single crochet all the way across. This is what your work should look like at the end of row five. Row six begins with a chain one and turn your work. Single crochet in the first single crochet, chain six. Single crochet in the next single crochet, chain seven. Single crochet in the next single crochet, chain six. Single crochet in the next single crochet. A repeat for this row is chain seven, single crochet, chain six, single crochet. You want to repeat that all the way across. This is what your work should look like at the end of row six. Row seven begins with a chain one. Turn your work. Single crochet in the first single crochet. Chain seven. Single crochet in the next single crochet. Our repeat for this row is chain seven. and single crochet in the next single crochet. You want to repeat this all the way across. This is what your work should look like at the end of row seven and row eight is a repeat of row seven. You're going to chain one, turn your work, single crochet in the first single crochet, chain seven, single crochet in the next single crochet. You want to repeat chain seven, single crochet all the way across. And this is what your work should look like at the end of row eight. Notice that we started with three sets of chain seven columns and we created four more chain seven columns by starting with chain two and progressively increasing it until we finish the repeat so that we now increased by four chain seven spaces. Well, every additional repeat, it's a seven row repeat, every additional repeat is going to increase our shawl by four chain seven columns. And let's figure, let's ex, let me explain to you where we're putting them. If you think in terms of any other top down increasing triangular crochet shawl, we do a double increase in the center and a single increase on each side, right? So going forward at the beginning of the next repeat, we're going to do the increase here, then three chain seven spaces, then to start the increase here, then this chain seven space, then start the increase here, then chain seven, chain seven, chain seven, and do the increase here. So we'll be adding four more sets. And once we do the chain two on that first row of the repeat, then it'll be chain three, then chain four, chain five, until we reach the chain seven full width again. So let me show you how to do row nine. That's the beginning of the next repeat. And then from there, I think it's pretty understandable where you go from there. So chain one, turn your work single crochet, chain two, single crochet in that first single crochet, then chain seven, single crochet three times, And then here we'll do the single crochet, chain two, single crochet, increase again, chain seven. This is our center chain seven column. Then it's single crochet, chain two, single crochet for the next increase. Then chain three or chain seven, single crochet. We'll do that three times.
and our last increase is here in the last single crochet, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So this is what your work should look like at the end of row nine. Okay, so at this point what you're going to be doing, so where we did the single crochet, chain two, single crochet, here, 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 and here, on the next row it'll be single crochet, chain three, single crochet in those four spaces. Then on the next row it'll be single crochet, chain five, single crochet in those four spaces. And then, uh, so rows nine through 15 are gonna be this repeat of growing from the chain two to chain seven. And it's also going to increase your shawl by four chain seven columns. Also, as you keep growing this shawl, we started with one column. At the end of the next repeat, we have three on either side of the center. Then on the next one, it'll be five and seven. I'll show you on the finished shawl what I'm talking about. Here we go, here's the finished finish shawl. I also changed color after every increasing repeat, and I did it for a couple of reasons. First of all, this was a great stash buster with leftover yarn from a project that I made a cowl with. I'll link that uh, pattern in the video description as well. But I had one ball left over of each of these colors, and I thought when it came time to making the video, I thought it was gonna help you to see what's happening when we're growing this shawl by seeing the color differential between each of the repeats. So as you can see up here, we started with the three chain seven spaces. We added four of those triangular wedges of increasing chain two, three, four, five, six, and seven until we had seven chain seven spaces here. And then I mentioned in the earlier part of the video that at that point we added an increase here, 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 and here so that we could create, which would then create these four triangular wedges that would increase our chain seven spaces by four more at the end of this section. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, right? We went from three to seven to now eleven. And also we went from one to three, and now we have five on either side of the center. So then from that point, you're still gonna do an increase at the beginning, an increase on either side of the center, and an increase at the end of the row. And then at the end of that section, you then have two more sets of chain seven spaces on each side, four more total, and it just keeps growing in that same fashion all the way through. Follow the link in the video description to download this beautiful pattern that is super easy to make. Uh, you can make it in any weight yarn, any size hook. Just simply work these increases until you get your desired size. But the video uh, in the video description, you'll find a link to the pattern that comes with written instructions as well as charts. And I'll also leave some information on where to find this really pretty DK weight cotton yarn. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please feel welcome to leave them for me in the comments. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.